Hello and welcome to this introduction on automating your Bluegreen deployments with ARA. The Bluegreen deployment automation allows you to test your application in parallel on an identical production endpoint before deploying the application into production. This allows you to reduce cost for deployment infrastructure by tearing down the old infrastructure and spinning up a new one before the next deployment takes place. After logging into the Atomic Web Interface and selecting the ARA default dashboard, we would have to trigger the ARA deployment wizard in order to start our blue-green application deployment. The wizard will guide us through all the necessary steps for creating the entities for our blue-green application. As you're talking about the blue-green application deployment strategy, it would be best to name our application for this demonstration, blue-green application. In order to keep things clean, we would create a folder based on the application name. Looking at the components, we would need an application component, which is of type Docker, a database component, which is of type MSQL, a Docker image component to build the Docker container, a general component for maintenance tasks, and a load balancer component to load the Nginx routing configuration. In this step, we have just given a general name for the workflow, this is called deploy. The workflow which will be used to perform the actual blue-green deployment has to be fine-tuned and other workflows have to be added in the next steps. To keep things simple, we have just created one single environment named blue-green production. We have assigned this environment to the same folder as we did for the application, which is the blue-green application folder. And in this environment, we have created four targets, which are of type blue for the staging, and four targets, which are of type green, which represent the production targets. As you can see here, we have to also assign the correct folder for the green and the blue application deployment targets, which are part of this environment. Furthermore, we have to add a deployment target for the Nginx to configure to apply the routing configuration. We need also a staging target and a database target. And last but not least, we also need a target for our maintenance tasks. At this point in time, we will define only one single profile. We would have to create another profile further down the road, which will be named Profile Green. This profile will actually route or apply the routing to the application towards the two deployment targets and the green one will apply the routing towards the green deployment targets. The package name or the version in this case will be 001 as it is the first version of the package. In the summary we can then see what was the baseline that we created for this application deployment and also we are pointed towards the next steps that we have to do, such as designing the component workflows, assigning an agent, assigning a log login object, 
assigning the selected environments deployment targets to the application components. By clicking Finish, we will acknowledge that we agree to the entities which are created for the application and we'll move on to the next steps.